What is going on guys, Dalton here back with another episode of DC Collects. We are finally opening up my box of fun guys. Let's get collecting. Okay guys, so I definitely do apologize. We have not had a video in a while. It has been a minute, that's for sure. My box of fun did come in a couple weeks ago, but life was happening and I couldn't get the video out. But here we are, without further ado, I'm super excited to get into this with you guys. I did pick the Chesapeake Eagles, so we'll definitely have to see what I, what I will get out of this. I was trying to figure out what different combinations there would be, but the Chesapeake Eagles definitely had some really random friends in there so we'll see what we get also at the end of the video guys I do want to go over some of the newer Marvel pops that look really sick and they're dropping X-Men soda coolers so I definitely want to go over that with you guys but without further ado guys I will face it away from me kind of so I don't see everything that's in the box I'm gonna start on the end here here we go umbrella we have the Freddy as number five okay okay Looking good. I can't lie, guys. I've not seen the Umbrella Academy. I've heard all great things about it. Just never had a chance to watch it. So definitely a really cool looking Freddy. Like the mold on that one, that's for sure. With the axe, this one is limited to 4,500 pieces. Definitely a good looking pop. Like I said, I haven't seen too much on Umbrella Academy, so maybe some trade bait for me, but I do just love my Freddies, and there is a slight bit of damage in the corner here, unfortunately. But other than that, the pop is looking pretty clean, guys. Definitely a good-looking Freddy. And in my opinion, guys, these boxes of fun are definitely the best bang for your buck for pretty much anything that Funko puts out. Like, for the price point that it's at, you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to make your money back or more with the Freddies. So, it's definitely guaranteed value you which is what I like and here is my chase a peak eagle guys so definitely really like that pop guys I love the mascots for this year's fun days that was super super sick I thought limited to 6,500 pieces that is a really cool pop guys definitely like that mascot and who doesn't like a chase so moving along here guys I am really excited to get into the two sodas too guys I don't know what I got really hoping to get a Freddy Ninja Turtle one but here's the next pop oh star oh yes okay Hey guys, this is sick. This is a really cool one. I was hoping I might get this one with my box. So this is the Freddy as Luke Skywalker with Grogu. So some people might roll their eyes at me, but I really love Grogu. I know it seems like Funko and Star Wars kind of overdid him, but I think it's because everyone loved him. So I think this is really cool that you're getting the Luke Skywalker and also Grogu in the Freddy at the same time. Super sick if you like Grogu. And I am also a big Star Wars fan, guys, so super cool to add a Star Wars Freddy to the collection as well. And the last one, guys, so we'll see what we have. I've got an inkling what it might be, so I am kind of happy, and it is too. Yes, okay, sweet. So this is the Freddy as Peacemaker, guys. They did do a metallic version at the Fun Days, limited 250 pieces. This one is limited to 5,000 pieces. Still a really sick pop, guys. Peacemaker was definitely one of the coolest characters I thought in James Gunn's Suicide Squad and his spin-off TV show was definitely killer as well so really enjoy that pop and again I do really like DC too guys I definitely concentrate my collection a lot on Marvel but super cool to have a DC Freddy in the collection as well another DC Freddy I should say I do have the Freddy as Batman NFT. Okay, so let's get into these two sodas, guys. I'm just gonna pull both of them out and we'll pop them open. Oh, yes! Okay, sick. So we did get one of the turtles, guys. We got Freddy as Leonardo. That is gonna be a sick looking soda. We're gonna crack that one. And we got Freddy Funko as Big Boy. So I really like this one, guys. Some people might have thought this one wasn't as cool, but it's really nostalgic to Funko because for those of you who don't know, Big Boy was Funko's first character, basically, that they made. So really nostalgic to Funko, and I just think it's really cool having a Freddy as Big Boy in the collection. These are also my first Freddy Funko sodas, period. So I am really excited to have them. I would say maybe keep keep them sealed, guys. If they had a chase, I would say maybe keep them sealed. But since they're all the same and just limited to 5,000 pieces, there's really no point in doing that. Oh. And, of course, these are the nice ones that get stuck. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. 
Freddy as Big Boy is looking nice. That is a sick soda. Oh man, the Freddy sodas are nice. Wow, really well done. Like I said, first Freddy soda, guys, so that looks just impeccable. That is super sick to add to the collection, guys. And opening up the Freddy as Leonardo. Super stoked for the new Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Did not go see it in theaters because I did have a son. And just FYI for anyone wanting to have a baby, you don't get to go see movies anymore. Unless you get a babysitter, guys. But here is... Oh, wow. That just... I just think that looks amazing. It's like a lot of people said, guys, so they could have maybe done an external shell on him to make this just a little bit better. But my gosh, the paint job on these are absolutely amazing. Like, that is so sick. That is one of the coolest Freddies, I think, out there. Again, would have been cool if they did chases, maybe. But for my first two Freddies, I am super, super excited about that, guys. And we do have the Pogs there, guys. Unfortunately, my Freddy as Big Boy Pog... Looks like someone used it as a hammering pad. So it's got a bunch of dents in it. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Good thing my Leonardo Pog is okay. Woo! That was super cool, guys. I do have to say, too, that the box of fun itself looks super cool. They have all the characters on both sides, guys. Just really cool packaging and well packaged, too. Th thought out really well so that the sodas don't crush the pops. I think that little bit of damage was maybe... I. I'm not sure where that came from on my Freddy because the box is in perfect shape. So I hate to say it, but it might have been packed like that. But the box itself did a good job protecting things. So like I said, guys, I do just want to throw a picture up on the screen. We are getting X-Men Funko Soda Coolers, guys. So these are just looking amazing. The chases on these are absolutely insane, I would say, personally. So with a lot of them being different molds, all of them have something different about the mold, actually. And then some of them have glow features and metallic features like i think they hit this one out of the park guys definitely think it's gonna be a really popular cooler and with that being said we did get the announcement of the 97 pops so we did talk about x-men pops and the x -Men, the new x-men 97 show coming whether they were going to make new pops for it we probably should have known they were going to try and make more money and make a new line it kind of does make sense it's going to be a whole new iteration and it does have a different title so thus you're going to get the new pops but they're definitely styled the same guys so i think the two different x-men pops the x-men 97 and the older x-men pops are going to mix really well together and make one big cool collection in my opinion but anyways guys definitely let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that i got out of my vox of fun today and also let me know are you guys going to be going for the funko cooler the x-men funko soda cooler i should say definitely looks pretty sick drop a comment down below let me know guys anyways that is all i have for you today guys thanks so much for watching we'll catch you in the next video video.